They look good. Um, I know they've been extensively tested by the GBGB at a number of tracks. He's going to be wheeled out at a number of other tracks. This is the first time, I believe, in the UK they're going to be used. But they look snug. They look, most importantly, safe. And you can see the sponsorship on there as well. Sponsorship opportunities. So Star Sports underneath the number. Uh, Grand Border Great Britain on, on the front there. Could open up a whole world of opportunity for sponsors. Indeed, indeed. Quickly on the card tonight, Andy. Of course, you're going to be calling all the races for us. A very first derby final for yourself. I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, listen, the occasion's fantastic. And uh, I don't think Errol was available, so, so <laughs> I'll stay at sin. But uh, listen, very much looking forward to it. And uh, the action, of course, getting underway in less than three minutes' time then for the opening of this Star Sports derby into track. There's your favourite on screen now. Then Asher Karan. Certainly looks well. There's Asher Karan. So it was electric and heat. That 4.07 split. And uh, a red-hot favourite here to kick uh, proceedings off with a winning favourite. We certainly wouldn't put it past her. Some uh, lightning form over the sprinter. It's one of the four-bend uh, distance here at Toaster as Ashley Kiran. And it uh, certainly looks well on parade. Yeah, I mean, Andy, this, of course, is over the 480 metres, the, the slightly shorter four-bend trip here. But if you're with us all well evening, you'll see the dogs run over four bends, two bends, six bends, eight bends, over the hurdles as well. Variety is the spice of life, and that's exactly what we've got this evening. Right, we're going to throw back. Just one minute to the off then on this first race of the night here at Toaster. Strap yourselves in. It's going to be one heck of a ride here at Toaster tonight. Less than a minute till post time on the up. This Star Sports Derby into track. I'm loving those jackets, Clarky. Second thoughts on those? Still, still liking them? Yeah, they, they look really good. I mean... You mentioned that you were interested in them, you've never seen them before. Um, I bet odds on that you've been in a bit of the spot of light for yourself before, Andy, so I'm not surprised you're interested. Well, close up, they do look a pair of ladies' knickers close up, I'll, I'll give you that. And uh, especially Trap 6, my aunt is bloomers, but uh, no, I'm, li I'm liking them. They look, look, certainly look, look the business. Um, be interested to see how, how the grounds go here in the opener. Yeah, and also conditions, just quickly, we've seen the Bowser go around a couple of times, the track's watered, good to go, nice and safe. So Polly the vet as well checking the surface so we are good to go. Everything's A1 down there then yeah and it looks like we're loading up for race one. Tia's our starter this evening she's the lady in the top hat and tails around the front of the boxes she's just making sure everything's A-OK -okay down there head of this Star Sports Derby into track for which they're all loaded now. Stand by for action then here on Star Sports English ground derby final night there's Tia with the flag thanks Tia the low six hair is on the move for race number one, the Star Sports Derby into track. Red Hot favourite two then, Asher Karan, stand by everybody. Good luck with your picks. We're off at racing away, and Asher Karan it is that shows first one up the inside. Oh yes, 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 they come the board off this bird. John Munns is oh yes, yes, broke well, but just couldn't hold Asha Kira to the corner. She showed that dazzling early speed, and as you mentioned, Andy, the roar went up as she hit the corner. One check off caused all sorts of bother, and um, yeah, the blue jacket was left in front. Odds on backers off to a good start. And we found a little forecast as well to kick well, us off go. as well. Good start. Tish is there, but after that uh, first band bump, done brilliant to get out. Uh, back for the miners, but like I said, no catch in Ashley Karan after a start like that. Those rules are fantastic. Plenty more local wins potentially to come tonight, but uh, Mark Wallace wins the opener here with Ashley Karan. 2 6 1 in the opener. This last sports derby into track. Ashley Karan makes all. There she's on screen there, Clarky, trotting back proudly. Yep, odds on favourites uh, off to a good start there. Look at that time, 28-11. Thought the track looked good. Got a 28-13 best. So 28-11 here. I guess the going's normal.
Well, I, I don't know about you, obviously. I love, I love the roar. It took a little while to get going, but once uh, I think everybody knew Asha Karan was out in front, there were a lot of people uh, off to a very good start. Now, 28 11 as well. It's a really big run here for Mark Wallace. Yeah, fantastic. If you, if you watch uh, Asha Karan out the boxes, you can see certainly it's a, a, a run, you know, a cracking bend. She's got huge speed, she's, she's got sprint success as well. And, and she's got that early pace that sealed the lead. You can see the queue just forming a bend at Keith's uh, stand at the moment, his pitch there, and I think the bookmakers have taken a hit in the first, but you're right. As soon as the, the lids were open, there was that roar that just built up and uh, certainly has blown, I think, those cobwebs away in terms of uh, the big crowd that's here tonight. They're packed into the terraces here and uh, hopefully we're gonna get more cheers. Perhaps the cheers, and are quite going to be well received by uh, Ben Keith and uh, and all the toaster bookmakers here, but nevertheless the punters are happy. The punters the are happy, absolutely. Presentation is taking place just over to the far side. There is uh, Asha Karan for Mark Wallace, takes the Star Sports Derby into track. And uh, let's get a little more reaction at the presentation with Julie Collier. Well, a wonderful run there. Listen, I'm loving these Australian star racing jackets. They look very sort of the way forward, Mark, very modern. Yeah, it's uh, another great idea, not just the jackets, but bringing this into track um, competition back. It's uh, another first for Toaster. Uh, used to be one of the highlights on the card, the, um, um, the Tony Morris um, into track at Wimbledon. So uh, it was a good idea to bring it back and uh, fabulous win for a great start to the night. Absolutely. And for anybody in the crowd who doesn't know who this man is, this is Mark Wallace, champion trainer, many times over, dual derby winner and going for his third derby win tonight with two finalists. He has trap one bombs bullet and trap two bruises bullet. How are they both, first of all? Yes, fantastic. Uh, all the teams arrived here in great condition and, uh, you know, we've had a thoroughly enjoyable week and we can't wait to get the, the action going tonight and it's good to get the night off to a great start. Of course, on this night last year, we saw Bruiser's Bullet absolutely flash out the traps and run a spectacular race, the fastest time of the night last year. Can we expect a sort of improved performance from him tonight on last week? Well, we hope so, because he, you know, both of our dogs were very tired after the, the rigours of the three runs in, in, inside the week, and uh, you know, that's the nature of the derby, we know that, but they were tired. Um, we've had a great week with them, and they look refreshed and fit for action. If he does what he did last year, then the other derby on us would, would have you know, he's the one that I've had to beat, but it's a great night. Excited, nervous, how are you feeling? Excited and nervous. <laughs> you and me both. Listen, let's head back to uh, Dave and Andy and get their thoughts on that performance by Asha Kiran. Well, thank you, Julie. Um, we're going to have a little... ...in early speed, and um, a 401 4 split, I'm being told here, which is absolutely lightning from the favorite four to six was the last show we'll try and get that sp for uh, mark wallace there who could be set for a, a huge night tonight mark he's obviously got two in the derby final i am zabriz in that durando final uh, durando as well over the eight bends via a warm order there